Hey guys, before you comment on this video, if you do like a certain interpretation, I respect and handle your opinion. If you don't like a certain interpretation, I also respect and handle your opinion. Are we all clear? Thanks. And guys, before you ask for proof, I have finished watching the new Netflix movie called, My Little Pony, A New Generation. And have now added to the top 6 list. Now let's go. In 6th place we have Pony Life. Oh my fucking god. What the hell have Hasbro done? This is the worst adaptation I have ever seen. Pony Life ruined the characters for me. Most of them are overly exaggerated like Teen Titans Go. The only thing I enjoyed from Pony Life is Flutter Cord, and that was it. Some people keep telling me that it's a fun show. I hate to break it to you, but it's not fun at all. I was hoping that it didn't have a second season, but I was so damn wrong. It got renewed. Fuck this LST show. I hope it gets cancelled forever. In fifth place, we have Generation 3, that show was fucking cringe and an embarrassment to the franchise. By the way this was before Friendship is Magic. I didn't like it because it didn't make sense and the dialogues are cringy as hell. Some of the characters in this version are dumbasses, and the songs are boring. The characters are unpleasant and not appealing to look at. As for Generation 3.5? Well, we don't talk about that. In fourth place, we have My Little Pony, A New Generation, by Netflix. No spoilers until further notice. This movie is mediocre. The story sounded great, but the lore behind G4 is destroyed, but I'll tell you later when I do my full review on this movie. The villain is trash. The jokes fall flat. And the ending is disappointing. Here are the only good things about this movie, the Donut Lord from the Sonic movie is in this film and the fact that the main six are referenced are still intact, which I'm happy about. But overall this film is just mediocre. If you want to watch it, fine, go ahead. But don't bash my opinion over it, even if you're a brony. Moving on, in third place, we have Equestria Girls, a movie series that turned into specials in many episodes. I find this series okay. But then the reason I stopped watching it, is because this version tried to be hip and cool, like, why the fuck are you bringing back the bottle flip challenge? It's 2021, not 2016, dumbass writers. And another reason, is because one of these fans kept asking for a third season, the same people who made hashtag save Equestria Girls. Guys, I do not think we're getting a third season for Equestria Girls, shut up, and that's final. In second place we have Generation 1, the one that started it all, this one is just okay. It's not good, but it's not bad either, in fact there are villains that are from the first general, like Lord Tyrik, Grogar, and the Smooths. Which is cool to see them, fun fact. One of them came back in Friendship is Magic. Nice. The main characters are like a piloted version of the main six, that is what I call them. Again, it's okay. But, that's just my opinion. And now here is the first place, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. I actually think G4 is a little better than My Netflix Pony, and way more entertaining than Pony Life. Now despite season 8 and 9 being mediocre, the stories make sense, the lore is great, and the characters feel fleshed out and not as annoying. Well except asshole characters like the singer's manager from season 5, he's a bitch. The 2017 movie is good too, but I wish the Storm King had more screen time. But yeah, that's all I had to say. Thank you all for watching my ranking video, be sure to like, subscribe, comment and go bananas, and I'll see you, in the next video, stream, or premiere. Bye.